the top of a casket. Think of the disdain you must clutch to for another individual where you have to get them in a closed casket. It's what nightmares are made of. The images of you being put in a casket just replaying your mind on a loop. And Orton is clearly looking for a fight here. Oh, he retaliates. Oh, man, the neck breaker. There's truly a mystique about NXT. The black and gold brand has taken on a life of its own here in WWE. Look, just wailing away in the corner. Cover up. But it was being held back with each of those strikes. Oof, nailed the midsection. Only the sickest superstars have ever actively wanted to be in a match like this, but once you are, you have to get into a dark mindset. When it comes to a casket match, it all boils down to a matter of who can be the most sadistic superstar in the match. Losing this one can change you forever. McIntyre with an incredibly ruthless sequence. Scary to think what Drew has in store next. Slam! What impact. The Apex Predator showing no concern for his opponent. And back in the ring we go. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. And Drew there just got a taste of pushback to his warrior-like mentality. And there's that effortless offense from Orton. Crank in the head. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Delivering nasty stomps. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Oh, stomp to the tummy. Tummy? And now McIntyre is being neutralized. Orton remains as dangerous as they come in Mac. Probably not gonna win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. High call. Way to break the curse. Neck breaker. By the looks of that exchange, Randy may have just found an area in which he needs to improve. Yeah, and after that, McIntyre looked like he's been putting in the extra work. And he's taking this to the outside now. To the outside. This could get wild. He gets back into the ring. What a counter. Sends their opponent into the casket. Now this one may be over. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. It's about to get very dark in there. Desperately trying. 
And they're able to fight their way out of the casket. They can't be human. That's ridiculous. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. A flat out power into the scoop slam. Oh, stomping away. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Neckbreaker. This one's close to over. Can they get to the end of the casket? Close the lid. Can they close the cap? And they got out of the casket. Thankfully. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Great strength being shown here. Orton clearly rocked by a precise attack there. And McIntyre's aggression seemingly growing with each attack. Come on! Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And power oh, with a sidewalk slam. Oh, here we go. This is raw power. Oh, my goodness. Into the power bomb. The intensity of Drew McIntyre. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Oh! Orton setting his sights and lining him up. Oh. 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 Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. their opponent. Oh, loving blow to the chest. We're seeing pure aggression from McIntyre. Looks like Orton's struggling here. And oh, come on! Might have just created a big opening. Now get over to the casket. And what's he looking for here? Oh, no. A sledgehammer. Better call the paramedics right now. Down on the ground, getting pummeled by that hammer. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is extreme. Well, now he definitely has him right where he wants him. But where he wants him is in the casket, Saxton. He'd better get to work. I don't know what they're looking for here. He grabbed a shovel. He is looking to do as much damage as humanly possible here. Oh, man. You felt that. Squaring off right by our announce table. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very end. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. I'm going to take And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. How many times have we seen Orton punish his opponent? One after another. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Whoa, out of nowhere. This is the time to get them in the casket and try to win this thing. Orton and McIntyre have just been unloading everything in their arsenals on each other. And both men somehow absorbing every ounce of punishment the other throws their way. Now something... Randy Orton just daring his opponent to take their best shot. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. The steel chair, never as innocent as it looks. What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh my gosh! Oh, with authority! Any 
one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Just mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. And Randy Orton is on a roll here. Oh! Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Precision offense from the Viper. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. Back straight into the post on the outside. Counters right into the swift chop block. That may be the final blow that puts him in the casket. No, no, get out of there. <laughs> trying to close the lid, trying. This is going to be tough. It's not over yet. <laughs> they did it. They survived for now. You're going to be breathing a sigh of relief. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Getting sucked. The voice is clearly telling Orton to put Drew down. And on the This is the moment. This has to be it. And waiting ringside is a nice cozy casket with his name on it. Orton firing up. The voices are talking to him. Heading up. He's thinking big. From the top. Elbow. You can see the dominance on display by Orton. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. Here come the bombs. The WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars who have given them so much tonight. Able to evade. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? And McIntyre on the receiving end again. This devastating offense from Orton is so hard to prepare for. Back into the ring. Taking this outside. This could be good. Stalking a downed opponent. And a forearm right to the face. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. He's thinking the steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Force the casket close to end this thing. There's no way they're going to prevent Doomsday here. Close call for that superstar. How the hell did they survive? The Viper taking a moment to soak it all in now. And he goes into the ring. Orton with a Fez press. 
raining down right hands. Pure intensity from the Viper. Drew's power currently being suppressed. Goodness gracious. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and to stomp in every single part of his body. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, into the casket they go. Oh no, rest in pieces. Oh, we've got a struck. Not ready to put the lid on this one yet. Apparently closing that casket is easier said than done. Taking this one back to the ring now. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. by Drew McIntyre. Now is as good a time as any to capitalize and get them into the casket. Yeah, but it's not going to be easy. They are completely out over the top and into the casket. This is over. This is over. Trying to close the lid. Trying. This is going to be tough. It's not over yet. They did it. They survived for now. They're going to be breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> 